This is CPM Precalculus Chapter 3, number 109. So here we want to show that log base 4 of x is equal to 1 half times log base 2 of x. Okay, so this is what we call, we want to show that means we want to prove. Okay, they're giving us a hint of where to start. Start with y is equal to 1 half log base 2 of x. Okay, they're saying start here, so I wrote it there, and change it to exponential form. Okay. So in order to change this to exponential form, let's go ahead and remind ourselves that if we have in general log, sorry, y equals to log base b of x, we can go ahead and convert this into exponential form by saying x then equals what's here is equal to b, the base, to the power of y, what we have on this side of the equation. Okay, so we want to make sure that this is in the same format as this. Okay. Right now it almost is, but we have the times one half. Okay, so we want to get rid of that half by multiplying two to both sides. Right, two is going to go ahead and cancel out with the half because one half of two is one. So let's do that first. We have two y is equal to log base two of x. All right. Now it's in this form that we have in general, and over here on the left is just we could call this y, but it's really two y. Okay, so to go ahead and convert this into exponential form, we're going to go ahead and say, well, what we're taking the log of is our x. So what we're taking the log of is our x equals to the base here, right, is equal to the base, so it's equal to 2, to the power of what the equation equals, to the power of that, and that's 2y. Okay, so to convert this into exponential form, we get x is equal to 2 to the power of 2y. Alright, so now that we have this in this form, we can go ahead and simplify this because we know 2 to the power of 2y is the same as 2 to the power of 2 times y. Well, that means the same thing, right? I'm just go ahead, I'm writing it explicitly. So I'm going to be able to say, well, this is the same as 2 squared to the power of y, right? This is the same thing. And I know 2 squared is 4, so I can say this is 4 to the power of y. Okay? Now, now that I have this expression, I have a base 4 now. I went from base 2, right? Base 2, base 2, base 2, base 2, base 2, and I have base 4. So now I want to convert this into the equivalent logarithmic form. So right now it's an exponential, so I want to go ahead and do the opposite and go from this side to the logarithmic form. So that means we take the exponent that we're raised to, which is y here, and set it equal to something. So here we have y, so that becomes y equals. And then remember what you do is you <coughs> say y is equal to log base b, where b is the number you, in the base of the exponential. So now it's base 4, log base 4 of x, what you're equaling it to, right? So here's x again, okay? So, what we've shown now is that they are equal, because we started with what? We started with y is equal to 1 half log base 2 of x. And the same y, right, we're not bringing in a new variable y, we're using the same y variable throughout the entire problem. So the same y, this is where we start, 1 half log base 2 of x. Both those y's are equal to different things, so we can go ahead and substitute this into this y and say well 1 half times log base 2 of x is equal to log base 4 of x okay and we've just proved it using all these steps right here so that's going to end for us cpm pre-calculus chapter 3 number 109